Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Disciples of Alien. I'm glad to have you all back with me again, and I thought we'd go ahead and take a closer look at what happened during the second week of the Arcadian Snowball. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what happened to our menorah progress, first of all. So here that one comes. Now, if we consider that this is the second week we do this, we also want to take a look at how much we got to spend in order to get these 94.3% progress on the Manure Codex. So starting with day 8 here, we got to spend 14.01 um, PED on day 8. Now day 9 uh, gave us an additional 12.58 PED to shoot for, which land us at 26.59 PED spent from day 8. And day 10, we had 14.24 PED to shoot for. So since day 8, we had spent 40.83 PED. Day 11 we had 14.45 PED to shoot for. And that landed us at 55.28 PED shot since day 8. Day 12 comes about and we have got an additional 12.9 PED to shoot for. So that lands us at 68.18 PED since day 8. And day 13 gives us 12.16 PED to shoot for, effectively letting us shoot for 80.34 PED in a week without paying a dime. Day 14, the day of truth, we got 12.6 PED to shoot from uh, there, and we had 92.94 PED spent on the second week. So that's almost a hundred PED we got to shoot for, which we only begun getting when we started on the first daily mission on Arcadia Moon. That's quite impressive, don't you say? Now, as I was in on about earlier, when I did the summary for day one to seven, I talked about how long it would take you to actually get this amount of PED to spend shooting when you were free to play on Calypso, for instance. Just imagine how much you would have to spend sweating in order to get that amount of ammo to shoot for. So if we took, take a look at if you sold sweat for 1.5 PED, per K, that would land you at 62,000 bottles of sweat. Now, do keep in mind, if you were to spend 62 hours sweating, you would get the same amount that you would have spent on these two weeks here. And this is without any globals, mind you. Now, let's take a look at how much time you've actually spent doing the daily on these two weeks. So if we start here, we have 20 minutes times 14 days. That lands us at 280 minutes of doing the daily. Now, that is a ridiculously low amount in contrast to the 62 hours you would spend otherwise. Now, when it comes down to the real deal here, one thing that we need to address is the issue with the rest of the time that you have on the day. Now, when you're new, you're probably going to want to spend a lot of time playing. Now, if you do this method, you're probably not going to get what you want. But if you were to already have a little ped when you get here, you would have more to start with. 
All right. So let's say, for instance, that you do the uh, Calypso starter missions and that you do the gauntlet and you get those 10 extra peds. Now, maybe once you actually get here to Arcadia Moon, maybe you already have 25 PED. Now, what that means is that you can skip these two, three first weeks of just doing the slow boating. You are going to be able to fast track onto the snowball. So you're going to start with a bigger, bigger snowball than I did. I just did this out of principle to show you that this works. This is not just something I say, this is something that I wholeheartedly believe and this is why I have decided to stay here on Arcadia Moon. And the reason why is because it has a lot to offer. I'm going to be honest with you. And just take a look at these two clips here for instance. Now, you're probably wondering what does these these two globals have to do with any, anything well that was the first few big mob kills I've done uh, since I came from the Arcadia moon snowball so to speak so I've only been snowballing up until now and I believe that I've built up a ped deficit if that makes sense so I have lost enough money that the game wants to keep me interested and thus rewards me with bigger globals. That's just a theory, you know, uh, just one of the many theory crafting sessions out there. <laughs> um, but that's one of the reasons why I want to stick around here because I've found that there are rather high level mobs that I can kite uh, when I want to. And uh, this is basically how I do it. Now, here's what I do. I pick one of the level appropriate mobs uh, for me, which happens to be like the uh, older alphas and up, because the younger versions of this mob uh, are apparently faster than the old alphas and the dominants and the uh, stalkers, for instance. So I haven't tested yet on the stalkers if you guys are able to kite it. I will once I find enough dung. Um, but until then, I'm just going to keep going like this. And I might do a few videos about me hunting them if you want. Just, just leave something in the comments if you want me to post those videos. Otherwise, I'll just keep them to myself. And uh, yeah, so basically my plans now is to keep rolling the snowball and to keep building momentum on that and keep putting in ped towards some hunts on different mobs just to see what kind of falls out of it and on top of that I'm planning on maybe participating in the next Merry Mayhem because I don't want to spend it on this one I want to build up a decent fund for it before I go in and uh, why not see if a deficit can help you <laughs> uh, that's a theory I have so I want to try it out and uh, as everything in Entropia long term goals are good goals for you so with that being said that is all for me I hope you have a fantastic day and I will keep posting the Arcadia Moon snowball uh, so they're going to keep rolling out in a rather tight schedule. I'm thinking maybe one, one a day or one every two days. We'll see what it lands on. But it will keep dropping down and uh, I just want to document it just to see how far we can go. And uh, yeah, you take care folks. See you in the next one. Here's some franting for you. I'm just a cynic, can you give me a minute? Cause faith is hard to place when you can fake everything you ever thought you could say Your trust issues, I'll admit it's hard to shoot you But then the pain that waits when I took away So you pinky promise you won't screw me over Leave me in the cold, yeah, I need honest, oh my
No one takes it serious We all swipe until our standards are delirious We all complain that there's no one out there to address When we look in the mirror, we date the person looking back You entice the same energy you put out So if you're ready to commit, maybe I wouldn't doubt Don't wanna be a pessimist, but I've been feeling down Cause I don't feel like anybody wants to grow so up now So you can promise you won't screw me over Leave me in the cold, yeah I need honest, throw my coffins you, you Opportunity to make a first impression So impress me and speak truthfully I'll match your energy if you don't want an enemy Then be friendly and maybe we can mend some things Our brain chemistry is taking us to therapy Our inequities are filling us with jealousy So get the fuck off your phone when you're next to me Let's have a real conversation about all the remedies Anything but checking DMs for your next to be Cause all this access is the true fucking enemy The grass is greener, right? That should fix everything But the issue is our damn insecurities Damn insecurities do you pick it from us? You won't screw me over. Leave me in the cold, yeah. I need honest, throw my coffin to you.